Hello Stephen, this is the old crypt, or sometimes that's called is the long room. Um, where we're proposing the exhibition to take place. Uh, it's underground, so it's, as you could see, I walked in and there was a flight of stairs. And that's where people will come in, people will come in from here. If I had to switch off all the lights, it would be incredibly dark, which is, of course, wonderful uh, for projections and things. So here is the main place where there will be lighting equipment and sockets held in there. There is another space which is currently closed. We won't be able to use that, but we'll be able to use the rest of the space. For now, I'm just going to show you around. I'm going to try and keep still as much as I can. The fire exit takes to another place, upstairs. So basically, there are a couple of features of this space. So previously, when we did some digital art exhibitions, um, what happened is that these alcoves here were used as like separate for separate entries or for separate like exhibits. In the case when we worked with the London group, we had screens which they brought in and they put up in each alcove. So there is one alcove there, there's a second one here. This could be another alcove. Um, though of course there won't be a wall because it's an open slot. There's another alcove here which one needs to be a bit careful because of this tombstone down here. And there's another alcove here. Apologies for all the uh, materials that are around right now, but since the work buildings will start in July, there are um, our contractors are coming in occasionally over the next few weeks. To, to test things out, but we will have the space free for us at the time. So the ceiling, as you can see, we used to have lighting stands and lighting rails on the ceiling but they have been removed in advance of the renovation I'm afraid. Over here what used to happen is that we used to put up a big white cloth uh, to cover the space and it was actually an amazing an amazing wall for projections. So the projector used to be fitted up somewhere. Um, safely and productions used to be held over there. So basically this is a general view of the space. We should, I believe, be able to fix some things to the walls safely. I believe the general policy has been that as long as things can be removed without any damage, to the building, then th those things can happen. There are these w wooden, I'm not sure what to call them, my English is failing me this morning, um, things from which we can hang things, of course. With regards to painting the walls, I will have to ask about that and we'll come back to you. I know that they are over the course of the renovation they are going to be returning the walls to this colour. So I will have to its original brick colour basically. So I will have to ask about that. There are power sockets available. Um, there is quite a few. I will have to get some help from volunteers and as well from people who know the building more who would be able to answer questions a little bit better. But the London group used to 
uh, basically connect everything and what I will do I will get in touch with them and ask them uh, to tell me a little bit more how they run things down here um, if lockdown eases definitely it would be great to have you come here and get a feel of the space all of you um, it's a little bit tricky of course because lockdown restrictions are still quite severe right now and St John's is going to be turned as from Monday um, Monday the 22nd into a testing site but that only applies to the um, to the main space upstairs so even if restrictions are eased we will be able to come down here and check things out um, I will answer some of your other questions in an email hopefully in the next few days but I will get some more information from those who know the space a little bit better since, since the space we haven't used it that much we don't have a formal document for how the space could be used and what can be happening and not happen we tend to work out these things with those who hire out the space um, but that, that is something that we hope to have as a formality once once we reopen the space in 2022 um, as a more accessible site i hope this has been helpful These are the size of the art clothes. So for for dimension that is an A4 paper. There we go. And I'm gonna show you again how to get out from the space. There is a room here which can be curated in a nice way to let people in slowly, especially if we have to be careful how many people are allowed to this space at Mango. Thank you, Stephen.